is Carter Sports back. And today, we head down to Dago to try to put up this fence around Southern California for this linebacker. So let's go. And before I start this video, please hit that like, please. And boy, if you ain't subscribed, you better subscribe. Disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Entering into the chat, we got Madden, Ferriamo. Now this kid is a tough kid. He played all the last year, you know, with a broken uh, forearm or something. He played with a giant club on his left arm, but he still played very effectively. You know, he played safety as a freshman and a sophomore before growing into a linebacker as a junior. And that's what he gonna ball at in college. This kid already standing at a 6'3", 215 pound frame and shows the ability to play from sideline to sideline at inside backer boy or line up as an edge rusher in past situations. Versatility is key in the D'Anton League D. You feel me? Brings a lot of positional versatility to the table and can play at any of the backers position or grow into a full-time edge rusher in college. Know what I'm talking about? He played with plenty of quick twitch moves. Moves well laterally. That's what we need. It shows good instinct. A heady player. He don't think. He react. He's comfortable in dropping in coverage and has flash solid cover skills in various 707 settings. With his frame, toughness, and athleticism, his upside is very high and he has the ability to be an impact player from day one in college. This kid is rated a four star on all four major websites when it comes to ranking these players. ESPN, all three, 247, Rival Sports, all got this kid at a high four star. And you can see why. He from the San Diego area, but you know he played his junior season at J. Sarah High School in Orange County. He was one of the top baseball players as well growing up, but now he is focused solely on football because that's what he's calling at. That's what he balling at. Got them offenders on the offense falling at. You know what I'm saying? It's Madden Ferriamo. This kid is exactly what we need. I love that he can play any position, linebacker on the field. He can play Mike, Will, it don't matter. Is just put this kid on the field and he gonna make plays from sideline to sideline. And he got coverage skills. So we don't gotta sub him out. You know what I'm saying? We don't gotta suck him, suck him out. They audible into a pass play. If we wanna change up the calling on the fly, we ain't gotta bring in somebody else. Matter Ferriamo can stay on the field, whether it's passing or the run game, or if he a missile and getting sent to the QB. You know what I'm saying? Southern California product, another one of them kids, we gotta put a fence around, man. We gotta put a fence around. California, pretty nice at linebacker. I know we missed out and we heard we didn't get KVA and Ty Anthony Smith and you know some linebackers that we wanted that we missed out on. So Noah Michael and this kid, the Southern California product, these are two Southern California product. You know what I'm saying? At linebacker, four star, they probably both be five star. 
by the end of their senior season, you know what I'm talking about? They already on the cusp. So any improvement go bump them right on up the five star status. But when I watch this kid film, huh, I already feel like he a five star. You know what I'm talking about? He out there causing wreck. See, he bring down damage to the game. And this kid, he took a visit and he trained in USC. You know what I said? How can you not take a visit with to USC, right? Under this new coaching staff and not feel like this is the place to be. Especially for D, I'm telling y'all, USC finna be a defensive school with an offensive head coach. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we recruit right well enough, get kids like this, put that fence around Southern California and cherry pick from around the nation. We perennial, perennial playoff contenders and we're going to win one. I guarantee you we win a chip within the next three years. And once we win one, we going to go on a roll. That's why the NCAA don't want USC back. As soon as we win one, it's over. It's O V E R over for the rest of the nation. So all we gotta do is get one. And I predict it coming in these next three years. Coach Heaney, this coach, like we're gonna win a national championship unless our recruiting just sucks. But I doubt that. I doubt that we might not have an organ back, but it's enough kids out there that gonna believe in development. Like Carlin Jones. Carlin Jones could have went somewhere and got the bag, but he focused on development and life after football. Them kids that's smart money and in confidence, and we gonna get them kids that's uber confident like this kid and gonna be willing to bet on they self and they ain't gonna need that up for Oregon back. We gonna get the kids that's really, that's really serious about the NFL. We gonna get them kids with the high IQ because a high IQ ain't gonna turn down this high quality coaching for a short term bag. So enter Madden Ferriamo in the chat. We gotta keep Southern California on lock. Put that fence up, forget the fence now. Nah, put that wall up. You know what I'm talking about? Put that wall of China up around Southern California and this one of the kids. F that. This recruiting cycle 2025, that's, we gonna get the majority of the kids. Last recruiting cycle last year, Oregon, Smorgan got eight of California, top 30. It ain't going down this year. It ain't going down this year. Out of the top 30 players out of Southern California, I'm calling in them. USC, we grabbing 10 of them. We grabbing 10 of them. Know what I'm talking about? Because this California class with defense is pretty decent. So let's wrap it on up. Out of the top 20, let's say, defensive players in Southern California, we need 10 of those, man. And Madden Ferriamo is on deck. He on the list. Sideline to sideline, backer, very versatile. Let's go. He fit perfect in the scheme and what De'Anton Lynn is preaching. So that's why I have to bring y'all this video because it's the A1, A grade prototype of what we need at the backer position. So until then, it's Carter Sports, it's USC, and let's go.